Let's talk some basketball. Stick with me on this one. Just hang with me. West Virginia, Cincinnati. I've got all kinds of insight here. All right, so last week, West Virginia played at Cincinnati, and they lost by 75 points. That was my top play of the day on West Virginia. I got smoked. I In my write-up for the game, I talked about West Virginia's go, uh, movement to the 2-3 zone, everybody getting healthy and trying to build some momentum for the tournament. I couldn't have been more wrong. It was just absolutely asinine by myself. Every once in a while, you got to admit that. Free pick today. In that game, West Virginia was tied 20 to 20. They were winning early in that game. And then they got a couple of technicals. The fouls weren't going their way. And they just started, they, they quit in the second half. They only down six at the half and ended up losing by 75 points, like 50, but whatever. They got smoked. They were 13 point dogs. Didn't cover as my top bet of the day. I'm going back to them here. And this is why. For the exact same reasons that I said in that game, Cincinnati's a poor shooting team in West Virginia. Since they've gotten healthy, they've started running a little more zone. Kirk Carissa is a liability on defense, and Jesse Edwards is a phenomenal in the middle of that zone. He played at Syracuse, transferred in. They've got Raekwon Battle, transferred from Montana State. He's an absolute baller. Took them to the uh, all the way through the uh, Big West last year. They've got Kirk Carissa, the transfer from Arizona. Jesse Edwards, they've got Quince Gavrinsky. They've got the guys. Now, they've been, they were injured all year long, and they are absolute pure white dog shit. But I'm taking them today. I took them already at plus 500 on the money line. I took them at plus 10 and a half. Now the line is down to 10, 9 and a half, and the money line is down to 375 plus 400. I like West Virginia still in this game. I think that they upset Cincinnati, and this is where it gets into the best part of this pick. If they win this game, they play against Kansas. Kansas has no Hunter Dickinson. They have no Kevin McCullers. If West Virginia wins this game, mark my words, no one will want to play them in the Big 12 tournament. They have nothing to lose. They are playing for everything. I have West Virginia winning the Big 12 tournament. I think they have the ideal path, in my opinion. They play against Cincinnati today. Can't really shoot the three ball. They play against Kansas. They would play against Kansas next. Kansas with no Dickinson and no McCullers has no depth. Uh, Kansas is still the better team there and will probably win that game. But I think it'll be a close one. And if the shots don't fall for Kansas, West Virginia can win that game. West Virginia beat them already. <laughs> it can happen again. And then they have Baylor as the only team that they have no chance. If they play Houston, they're losing by. They they just can't hang with the athleticism and defense. Baylor, on the other hand, is an offensive juggernaut. Once again, if the shots don't fall, West Virginia in that zone is going to be, it could be a problem. Now, this is obviously asinine, and, you know, I wouldn't do it if it was 20, 40, 50 to 1. This is 1,000 to 1. You put $1 on them, you win $1,000. They have to win four or five games to make profit off this. I tried to put a 20 bag on it to win 15 grand and I got uh they I got denied from the traders. So I have officially $1.50 on this game to win $1500, but I'll find some more uh avenues to put it on. But bet365 is 1000 to 1. I think uh DraftKings is still 500 to 1. DraftKings or FanDuel, one of the two is 500 to 1. So I'll probably throw another $5 bill on one of them, but I think West Virginia, you know, team of destiny, not at all. I'm just joking, but let's go McAfee. How about it? <laughs> Let me tell you about it. Let's fucking go Mountaineers. Plus 10 and a half, top bet of the day.